One thing that I'm curious about is in talking about your process of how you make your pieces. You said that you don't make preparatory sketches or, you know, sort of planning out things in that traditional kind of way. But your work is so seems so sort of precise in its in the way that it embodies emotion. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering how do you come to that? Like what's your process of figuring out how are you going to convey through the stance of the figure or, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, 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 I'm asked about the process a lot and a lot of times with disbelief, you know, mm -hmm. that I don't use models and I don't do preparatory drawings and, you know, none of the kind of standard um, sculptor's methods, you right. know. Um, and I, I think it's just a, a process that I, I fell into, a way of working that I fell into naturally because um, I, I never really had fundamental drawing or fundamental, you know, figure modeling <coughs> or studies or maquettes. It was never suggested to me from the, from the time I was an undergraduate student that this is the way that a sculptor works. Mm -hmm. um, and I, the, the work that I made earlier, which was a lot more distorted um, and, and not precise, as you say, um, more expressionistic, I guess you'd say, Didn't, doesn't really rely on that kind of planning. It was more an intuitive process. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it, it, gradually changing the work, my work, um, to uh, like a higher degree of realism and naturalism sort of grew out of my studio process. And, and, the, fi and the way to work with a figure evolved naturally out of that. Um, and I, I, I have a problem with drawing um, for sculpture. Because I do, the problem that I have with it is that I, I want to keep um, intuition in the studio really fresh and really, um, you know, active. Mm -hmm. And um, so it doesn't any just become kind of, labor. So it doesn't become dictation. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I, I, I like the way that I. I mean, I've, I've worked with the vocabulary, the figure enough. Um, you know, I looked at books and I looked at the history of sculpture a lot, and I've built a vocabulary of. You know, the way that you can move from muscle group to muscle group and mm -hmm. part of the anatomy, uh, one part to the other part, where I feel kind of fluid in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't really think about it that much. And so it, it is an automatic process. I can't really explain quite what it is. Um, but it, but it, the thing about it is that it does take a long time. Like I think a lot of, very often we think of an intuitive process as kind of a, a messy, spontaneous, you know, mm -hmm. fling a bunch of material around and you know, act like Jackson Pollock and, or yeah. Peter Volkus or somebody like that. Yeah. I think intuition, at least for me, is, is, is a much more sustained endeavor. You know, it takes, it takes a long time to make my work. And, and so intuition is this thing that's slowed down and, and, and you know, it depends on what I'm listening to mm -hmm. um, on any given day. Um, and it's, it's like stretching intuition out for a, a, like a two month duration and finding different modes of intuition and different, um, the intuition has a different kind of timbre, you know, from mm -hmm. day to day with me. So it's not uh, a kind of sloppy flinging material around kind of, you know, animal type of intuition. It's, a, it's, it's an intuition that's, in, that's kind of set up for the pace that I work and it's an intuition that sort of, you, it's, a, it's, it's like finding um, like an intuitive focus like through a microscope. You know, mm -hmm. it's like this kind of intuition, you know, like what does is, what is micro detail mean? Like you can find as much intensity on like a really sharp, distinct focus as you can by, you know, kind of hitting something. Right. You know. I mean, I do that too, but. Yeah. <laughs> <you know. laughs>